hello everybody welcome back to this week's Trader Joe's taste test where we are trying so many new products from Trader Joe's and we cannot wait to get right into it because we're looking at this meatless cheeseburger pizza and it definitely looks interesting and uh, Tim gave me all the pickles so every one of them <laughs> yeah so if you are excited to see us taste testing these items give this video a thumbs up subscribe and let's dig right in all right it's the dog's turn to try the two new treats from trader joe's we've got the choose me valentine's day treats and the reef and beef treats that they're both gonna try but before i get into it i wanted to give a shout out to hannah and eugene brian is sending you his love all right luna sunny come here good girl okay what do we try first let's try the valentine's day treats you girls want this? Let's see. Are they yummy? There's one for you, son. One for you, Luna Boo. Look how cute these little reef and beef treats are. They're little doggy prints. Okay, let's see if Sunny likes it. Oh, Sunny loves it. Ooh. All right, so we have a bunch of food in front of us and a lot of hot items. So I think we're gonna, do you wanna try the pizza right away? Yeah, we should start with the pizza. I think okay. that's gonna lose its heat the most. So Tim um, very carefully picked off every pickle and put it on my piece. Um, so I have a <laughs> lot of pickles, but I don't think it's fair that he's not trying the whole pizza for what it is. What do you guys think? Eat the pickles. Come on, don't be scared. Eat, Eat the pickles. <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? Oh, they all said it. You I know, them. I know. Here, here's a little uh, teeniest tiny pickle for your first bite. All right. All right. And then you Gosh. can try it without it. <laughs> I should try it first without this. Like, give you guys what tell you it's good or not. Mmm. <laughs> This is interesting. And you, and you know, we don't even have anything to drink. Oh, I guess I gotta have to just go for a big bite of this. Yeah. Thing. All right. So I took two bites to assess the situation further, <laughs> and I will say, um, it, I like it actually. I think it tastes good. It isn't super flavorful. Like I kind of wanted to taste a little bit more of a like tang from the pickle, a little bit more flavor, but. I still, I think it's really good, and I think the combination of all the flavors on here tastes, I guess, I, similar to a cheeseburger. What do you think? Do you think it tastes like a cheeseburger? No. Okay. I'll tell you, it, it tastes like pickle. <laughs> and it's not just that one piece of pickle. That really? I, I feel like I've taken like three or four bites after that, mm -hmm. and all I taste is pickle, which is mm. unfortunate. Um, no, I mean, I think because for me as as a meat eater there's like there's a lot of flavor in real meat that when you have a cheeseburger that's kind of like what i think of is like the meat flavor paired with the cheese now they have everything there but nothing really takes over yeah nothing is like hey i'm here to be the main show here it's I like agree. it's like the ground beef crumbles are are mild mm -hmm. the cheddar cheese mild mild the sauce is like a tomato. It's like almost like a ketchupy sauce, almost. Pickles, mild. Pickles. <laughs> everything was pickles. Okay, so, so the juices were just. Ugh. <laughs> One thing that someone did comment and say they tried it and they used the magnificent sauce on here, and I think that's a fantastic idea. I think the magnificent sauce would really bump up the flavor on this, and it would make it taste a lot more like a burger. I like using that Magnificent Sauce on tater tots personally, and I think that it has that tang that I'm looking for. So I think when I, if I buy this again, I will definitely use the Magnificent Sauce on it and um, just bump up that flavor profile, but I think it's a good base. I think it is good, and it is, um, you know, it's just not super potent flavorful, and I wouldn't necessarily compare it to a cheeseburger yeah. but i see where they were going with it um and yeah that's that's my take i agree i don't think there's really much more to be said yeah well 
I think we need a little refresher. Yes. Cleanse the palate. <laughs> so we're gonna move on to this. This is the cold press cacao fruit juice beverage. And it says it's bright, refreshing, tart, tropical cacao fruit. I'm curious to see what this is gonna taste like. Um, yeah, I mean, it says it tastes a bit like coconut water, but with slightly tartar, sweeter, more vanilla tinged edge. Um, so I'm it's excited to It's not gonna to taste try. like chocolate, which. Yeah, and <laughs> that's great because we are, we know what cacao tastes like in that form and this is yeah. saying that this is a different form to try it in and i'm very excited to um see what that's about all right here we go cheers hon oh, oh wow that's that's refreshing it is refreshing and it definitely has like a zing to it it's very light um it's not like all in your face with flavor i like but this. it's very subtle and and pleasant and i feel i feel wealthy drinking this. I okay. feel like this is like you walk into a very large fancy house. Someone is going to serve you a glass you of this. You get this at the White Lotus? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it, it serve you this with a little flower. <laughs> um, I do like that it has this like really nice light fruitiness to it and it is just I don't know. There's something about it. Just I feel like I could just keep drinking it. Yeah. It does say to serve over ice, but I almost think that it might dilute it too much because I really like this flavor. Um, I'm definitely gonna buy more of these. I enjoy this a lot, and I do think it does. It says you can mix it into sparkling water or into a cocktail, which is yeah. actually a really interesting idea too. Um, I probably won't be getting into that anytime soon <laughs> because I am still recovering from. A horrible sickness as you guys probably can still hear it in my voice but um, as is this is super enjoyable and sparkling water is actually a great idea hi orange um, and I think that uh, it's just a really interesting different type of flavor than I've had in a drink before and I really enjoy it so I, I agree I think this would probably be good if you had like either vodka or gin or gin I, I was feel thinking like, gin too yeah because it has a little like, bit of that like Fresh or not earthy, but like I feel like it would pair well with earthy biscuits and gin. But you could get away with like a vodka if you wanted to make a cocktail too. Yeah, and I will say it's really um, bright in the flavor department, and I want to say it's almost like it's citrusy, but not. It doesn't have that yeah. that sharpness that citrus has. Like when you swallow it, and you're like, whoa, that's acidic. It doesn't have the acidity, but it definitely has like a. Um, <laughs> we have the whole family joining us. It has like a uh, citrusy note to it. So um, highly recommend, definitely picking up more. So that's delicious. All right, next thing we're gonna try is the dehydrated protein crumbles, the beef crumbles. And I did add a couple things to this. So it just, basically you just cook it on the stove top, add some water and you let it sit with the lid on it for 10 minutes. I added some minced dried onion to this and some chili powder just to give it a little flavor so we can taste the texture but also I wanted to like have a flavor with it so All right. let's see how it goes. Right off the bat, um, what I added didn't, I don't think it added too much flavor to it but I noticed there's a lot of water content in this. So much. And I don't know, I somebody else, I love filming these after I read some comments because other people have tried this and they give really good tips and I always appreciate your tips and tricks in the comment section. Somebody else actually said that they preferred it cook, cooking it one day and then letting it sit overnight like in the refrigerator and then eating it again because the next day it's better and I can see why. I feel like it just needs more time to soak up the water because it's almost like chewing on a sponge where you're getting that water content and you have yeah. that chewiness yeah. to it like a sponge and it does have that same texture it's kind of like light and fluffy um and obviously we're eating it plain so if you're adding it to a chili or you're adding it to a soup or you're making tacos or whatever it's definitely going to take on a different um like texture in those things but just on its own that's what i'm coming up with right now yeah i agree with everything you just said it's very watery mm -hmm. uh the flavor is so mild that you don't taste really anything and i was trying really hard because it's, it's very familiar flavor and i'm like what is that and i was thinking is it a vegetarian meat no i think it's honestly like that um meat that's in the wedding soup 
Oh. And it has a very similar mild flavor to it. Well, is that the seasoning I added though? Because I added chili powder. No, and I, I don't added think onion, so. so. Maybe, but I don't. I don't know. Bottom line is it doesn't have a lot of flavor. Which is good. Yeah. So if you want to use this. Base. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, But if you want to put this in like you said, like a pasta sauce or something like that. Yeah. It's not going to give you like a ton of flavor. It's just going to give you texture and protein. Exactly. That's no, it. that's a really good point. So if you wanted to add that to, to a meal to just like beef it up, give it a little bit more bulk and, um, you know, add that texture to it, then you're really... The, this is perfect for it, but if you're expecting something to come out of it that has like a potent flavor That's not that's not what this is about And I think most people understand that anyway yeah. because it's just what it is is just pea protein textured crumbles, so um, All right, we're gonna move on. So now the bread of the hour This is the jalapeno cheddar bread and I think Tim is most excited for this one Yes, I, I gave him it. a piece with the actual jalapeno on it and I did just heat it up in the oven just very like couple minutes, so we're gonna try this. Mm. <laughs> you like it? Oh, this yeah. would be good bread with chili. Oh my really goodness! Good bread with chili. This would be perfect with chili. <laughs> this bread is so soft. Mm -hmm. The jalapeno flavor is good. I mean, it had jalapenos on it, so a little bit spicy, but not anything crazy. Um, the cheddar. I mean, it all is just—it's a perfect combo. All of the flavors just marry perfectly together <laughs> and it would be perfect in a chili. Mm -hmm. I must have chili on the brain because I, I know why. The uh, Super Bowl is coming up and I keep wanting my mom to yeah. make chili. So I think I might have to buy another one of these breads to add to the chili to just dip because I feel like this is the perfect combo. And like Tim said, there is a little heat here and it provides tons of flavor. The cheese is kind of a background singer in this one. Um, yeah. You don't really taste the cheese, but you do get the uh, moistness from the cheese and kind of that chewiness. And the bread is itself is dense and it has just a ton of stuff in it. Like a lot of jalapeno, a lot of the cheese, and it's perfect for dipping into something because it is that dense that you kind of need something to dip it into because just on its own, yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> it's like a lot of bread, so. Speaking of dipping it in, should we dip it into the... <laughs> oh my gosh, every time, Tim. Okay. I swear. I was like, oh I'm man. I'm so innocent in these conversations <laughs> and it just goes right over my head. Okay. Um, <laughs> You're so bad. Okay. The, the Calabrian chili spicy mm. pasta sauce. We're going to dip the bread okay, into here, okay? Okay, dip the bread, all right. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm dipping straight into the jar. This is our jar. We're not you know sharing what? it with anybody. I can't believe it. You're spreading your <laughs> germs amongst me and Benson. <laughs> and we're all sick oh, together. Yeah. Um, no, I'm going to heat this up anyway. But we're just, we didn't want to make another thing to like pasta because there's so much food. We we just are gonna dip it, so let's do it. Mmm, I like this. It tastes like a pasta sauce, like. Yeah, like the tomato base. Yeah, for sure. The tomato base is definitely there. The kick does hit you at the end. But is it this, or is it I don't that? think so, because it's a different yeah. kick. Yeah. The jalapeno, you can taste. It does a little bit different, yeah. This is definitely like the Lasting. chili kick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's delicious. Oh my gosh, I'm pleasantly surprised, because I really was on the fence about this sauce, but wow, the flavor combo in this is Really nice. The tomato sauce, mm -hmm. perfect balance with that chili. And it breaks up the monotony of sometimes just too much tomato sauce is like overkill. But the chili really does add that like next level yeah. layer to it. And it's delicious. Yeah, it's like the perfect level of spiciness yeah. where you get to enjoy the, the flavor without burning your mouth. But you also are going to be reaching for that wine glass that you're drinking for uh, with your pasta at the same uh, time a little I bit miss more. Wine. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it's really good. I, I think it's uh, a great pasta sauce and worth trying if you're if you're interested. Yeah, actually, now that you say wine, this might be our Valentine's Day dinner with that new pasta, this sauce, and a nice bottle of red wine. Sign me up. Give me a week, and I am. <laughs> gonna be ready. That sounds amazing, actually. So I think that's what we will do. We'll definitely have this be our sauce. Definitely. And I'll make Benson something different because I think this will be a little too spicy for him. 
Um, definitely more of an adult sauce than a ch child sauce, but But really on good. Valentine's Day, what kind of chocolates are we going to be eating, honey? Oh, well, actually, before we get into the chocolates, uh, okay. let's get into the coconut flavored almonds, okay, fair which enough. I'm so excited for. So we're going to try these. I am such a sucker for coconut stuff. I know. <laughs> it's unfortunate. Oh. <laughs> Okay, these are cakes, Whoa. and like it looks like little coconut flakes or shred. Oh, it smells amazing. It smells like an almond joy, right? You always say almond joy. <laughs> well, this, if anything, this is almond joy right here. You yeah. got almonds and coconut. Exactly. Just where's the chocolate? All right. Okay, oh. take it oh. away, honey. Go oh ahead. Go ahead. Go on. Mmm. These are so good. They're actually really good. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So I like that this coconut softens up the almond a bit. Something I don't like about plain almonds is they're, they're, it's like hard to chew them a lot if you're having multiple almonds. And like all the little pieces kind of get stuck in your mouth and it's hard to swallow. And this, this like combines it all and it's, it's the perfect texture. Softens the almonds so it gives it a little bit of that chewiness. The flavor though. The flavor's great. The flavor. But let's be real. It does get stuck in your teeth. Oh, does it? Oh yeah. For me, I'm like already like wanting to dig in there and scrape it mm. out. But um, okay, I see what you're saying. But the flavor mm. is really good. Coming from somebody who does not really like coconut, that coconut flavor is really good. These are one of my favorite. Yeah. Um, I think favorite flavored nuts that Trader Joe's ever come out with, and that's saying a lot because they've come out with a lot of different kinds of flavors for all different kinds of nuts that they sell. These though, wow, <laughs> they are sweet. So be prepared. They're like more of a sweet treat than like a, a snack that you would just kind of like want to eat to like stave off hunger. These are more of like a nighttime, I'm going to eat some watching a show. And uh, yeah. Definitely so good. I'm so glad I picked these up because wow, 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 wow. All right, now we're talking about sweet treats, Valentine's Day. Let's get into the caramel hearts. These are the dark chocolate covered caramel hearts and they're in this teeny tiny little mini bag, which is perfect because then nobody can overdo it. Also, really cute gift for teachers, like I said, in the hall or um, family members, your kids, whatever. Benson wants to try one too. Serving size is six of these. What? I know, that seems like a lot. What's in this? Are these almonds or? They're caramel. Caramel, it's just caramel and chocolate. Yeah. Okay, all right. All right, here we go. Did you put the whole thing in your mouth? <laughs> is that a lot? You got it? It's pretty soft though. Yeah? Yeah. The caramel came right out of it. <laughs> it's just a hollow heart now. Mmm, chewy. We have a lot of caramel. Wow. Benson's is still chewing his. <laughs> that is a lot of um, really sticky, kind of gooey, ooey caramel. Although it's not like the caramel where you bite into it and it's just goos right out. It's the kind that's just solid. Um, yeah. I, it's hard to explain, but. It's like chewy. But, chewy and it's yeah. a little more solid. So you don't feel like it's gonna like drip all over your face. Sometimes I'll bite into like a caramel and the caramel just like, it's like a pizza string of cheese where it just like and then it gets like all over your face. That's happened to me so many times. And I actually prefer the caramel like this when it's a little bit more hard, but it is very chewy and sticky and it gets stuck in your teeth. Um, and it's very rich. So I think buttery. one is good enough for me. Yeah, it is very buttery, you're right. What do you think, Benson? Serving size of six, though. It's crazy. What do you think, dude? Like, it's like kind of too caramel to me. Mm. Yeah, there's a yeah. lot of caramel. It is definitely stuffed with caramel, so if you like caramel, this is definitely going to be one of your favorites. What do you think, Tim? I really like it. You do? Uh-huh. I, I, could, I could have another. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to right now, but it's not like, yeah, definitely not, it's not a second, like yeah. eating like a Krispy Kreme donut sometimes, <laughs> but it's good. Yeah. And I just gave Benson the rest of my chocolate shell, um, because we're moving on to the cinnamon bun, Jojo's, and I've heard good things about these too. So we will see. I really like cinnamon buns. Cinnamon is just a really yummy flavor in my opinion. 
So I'm excited to see um, how these are gonna taste. All right, I'm gonna, <laughs> do you wanna share this with me? Uh, or do you want your own? I kinda just wanna have my own. Okay. <laughs> and see how it, how good they are. All right. You try it oh, first. It smells cinnamony. You try it first, if it's not great, and I'll just have that. Mm. Okay, I'm having it. Mm. Oh wow. These are um, really good. They're rich too. So sweet though. I will say this filling is, wow. It's um, very sweet. sweet. We need um, some almond milk because I want to like dip it in or coffee. Or tea, oh my gosh, There's the sky's the limit for a liquid with this, but you definitely, I don't think you can eat these on their own, because you definitely need to wash it down with something. <laughs> but they are amazing, definitely delicious. You got that cinnamon in there, they did not skimp on the cinnamon, and that creamy center is kind of reminiscent of like the um, frosting on top of the cinnamon roll. So that's true. It's really yeah. good. It's re If you like cinnamon rolls, cinnamon buns, these are your friends. Honestly, they nailed it. Because it does taste like a cinnamon roll. It's delicious. Yeah. And it's probably going to be Benson approved. What do you think, dude? How is it? Yeah. Yeah, Benson approved. <laughs> yes, this is a great cookie. Um, and I am, again, glad I bought them because they're fun new item to try. They're like double stuffed JoJo's. Like yes. they were not skipping on the on the filling. There. No, they are not. Like even Benson's cookie was like squirting yeah. out the side because there was so much filling, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right. I need water again. Oh yeah, water for sure. <laughs> um, I'm gonna grab the ice cream now because I think that's all we have left, and then we're done. We got through it, but this has been a really fun taste test. Yeah, it has. High five. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, I'll be right back. And the last item on the docket today is the chocolate raspberry swirl. This, do I like raspberry, you guys? Yeah. No. <laughs> of course I do. I love yeah. raspberry. Actually, for Valentine's Day, I told Tim I wanted Sprinkles cupcakes, and they have always during um, Valentine's Day, they always have the raspberry chocolate chip cupcake. It's so good. So maybe this will replace it. Oh yeah, I'm getting all the raspberry. There's so much raspberry right here. Maybe we'll complement it. It's not replacing it. Okay. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna try this. Vincent, I'll let you try. Um, oh, Daddy's giving you okay. too much. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. That is so good. Oh my goodness. It's raspberry sorbet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. Oh wow. Yeah. Honestly. I haven't even had the chocolate part yet. But yet. who needs the chocolate? Oh my gosh, seriously. That, some people might be mad at me, but I really, I want them just to make a raspberry sorbet because this is. Yeah, the chocolate's there, but. The raspberry yeah. is it. The raspberry mm -hmm. is like the star. She is winning and I wish she's I. She's the star, the director, <laughs> the producer. Mm. Shoot, she's even the audience. This is so good. Wow, yeah. Mm. Incredible. Honestly, I could just totally forget about the chocolate. I don't care about the chocolate, but the raspberry. Okay, don't dig in all the raspberry. Hey, get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, so what do you think? What do you think? Do you What do I think? That was so good. That raspberry is like it's heavenly. Yeah. Honestly, I really do wish they made the whole thing raspberry. I know, that's Because I you don't need the chocolate. The chocolate is just like basic <laughs> cocoa flavor. No, nothing special. That raspberry though, that's what dreams are made of, people. It, and it's not like a synthetic flavor. It doesn't taste synthetic. It tastes like really, really flavorful raspberry. And it's so good and, ah. <sighs> Okay, the desserts so, totally yeah. won us over. That was, that was a perfect ending to the taste test. It course. really was. Uh, Benson, did you like it? Um, yeah, and it got like two coat uh, uh, up here, so I like, like, was you get a brain trying freeze? to keep it more down. Oh, okay. But did you like the flavor? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, well, that's it for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This was really fun. We had such a good time and um, we're gonna get ready for bed now. <laughs> so thanks for watching. If you liked it, yeah, you are. 
If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.